this is Dr. Mayur Mahajan from HHF and I thank you all for giving this opportunity uh, for this beautiful webinar. So let us start directly as we have a very you know less time. So the with the start start with the PPT directly. So yes, the first slide is my my topic. My topic is very interesting: rheumatic conditions and mental mental makeups. This topic is so interesting, my dear friends. The mind, body, and the soul, this axis, the connection is so beautiful. So I'll directly start with this webinar. I welcome you all, my new friends here, all about. See, in webinar, there's a big hitch, you know. We, we, we don't see the delegates. We don't see new faces, their expressions. So it's just like talking to myself. It's really difficult. But yes, I'll definitely try. All right. See, man has overcome all kinds of climates. You know, this man is the one, the only species in the world which can, you know, survive in any extremes of the climates. You take deserts, you take the tropical regions, you take normal, this polluted regions. You can take any place. And this man, you know, this man has the capacity you know, to survive, to adapt with the changes in this environment. This is very interesting. No other species in the world can adapt. Why? Because this man has So, how? You know, how? It's very important. Now, why? You will ask me, what is this all nonsense topic you're talking about? A man. I'm, we are re related only with the rheumatology or rheumat joint pains, right? See, in order to understand joints, we need to understand man. And we need to understand the link between the man and the disease. Because homeopathy treats the man and not the disease isn't it so in order to understand the normal man i'm just trying to put this so we'll come to know what is this normal man and how is it you know different from animals okay so next slide please yes this difference between an animal and a man you know what the basic difference the man has a will understanding the memory and the most important aspect is, is ego. And the, this ego is very important. I would say rather this ego is the mother emotion of all diseases. He said to me like this. He insulted me. He humiliated me. I cannot bend in front of him. Why should I say sorry? He, let him say sorry. Yeah. See, so this is the time. What are the more, you know, the morbid rubrics? The embarrassment. Animals don't feel embarrassed. Guilt. Really, I don't want to say I've done wrong. Yeah. Shit. It's wrong. God, please help me. See, praying, begging, you know? embarrassment, shamelessness at one side, and morals, conscience, as if guilt. We have a rubric. Anxiety consent of as if guilty of a crime. See, these are the some rubrics of emotions which a man carries out. Hurt feeling, wounded feeling, honor wounded feeling. So these are all emotions which are very well you know, imbibed in the human being, which are not in animal. Of course, the animal instinct is what? The fit survival of the fittest competition. But here shamelessness, morality, conscience, guilt, ego huh? and the worst part is vision, thoughts, thought processes, plannings, intelligence. I don't say that animals don't have brains but see the thought processes, calculator, you know, wearing a, you know, a leather jacket so that I will cope up with this environment. So there are n number of tactics. So the most important part is it has this real understanding ego, the shame, the embarrassing things. So 
it differs from other animals why I'm just focusing on this topic because later on later on I would be you know just telling some emotions which has that got that connection with the diseases and this is very important all right so the next slide please whenever there is health what does health means health means harmony health means smoothness of functioning health means hand in hand together joining hands together the cells are working the whole trillions of the cells in my body are working in harmony the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nerve supply are antagonizing with each other which is necessary all right the hormones are flowing in a perfect quantity and quality and you know, the cells are working day in day out for the betterment of this body this is health all right then what does this health gets how is this health damaged either by injury now i now we will talk, be talking about some joint problems arthritis okay because if i start talking about a disease then this topic won't end you know? so let us talk focus upon, upon this arthritis what is this arthritis there are so many diseases in this world wherein the etiology is unknown now you'll get the link why did i connected man with the environment why did i connected the man with the animal instincts and why am i why am i connecting this man with emotions just I, i wanted to put this link together because of unknown diseases with unknown etiologies what is this unknown etiology all about see what does this unknown means what unknown is undiscovered unknown is unexplored unknown is unidentified means there is a cause there is definitely a cause but it is unknown hai na it is unknown for example i'll come to the next slide see this how beautiful it has shown here when i know the cause when i know the cause i can treat the disease when i know the cause i can treat the disease now what happens when there is an unknown etiology juvenile idiopathic arthritis this word idiopathic itself suggests that it is an unexplored unreasonable which we cannot reason out exactly pinpoint unidentified cause this is where homeopathy works the best my dear friends this is where the homeopathy this is where homeopathy works the best i let us see how all right next slide please yeah this is the slide it's a slide slide of a joint of a knee right now let us understand na ki what is this knee joint all about ha na it's very interesting na ki yes i can understand there is a blow on my knee and i am pain getting this pain agreed but what when there is a blow on my knee i i know the cause because there is blow here so i'll just give some anti inflammatory medicine so that the inflammation gets reduced and i get better but isn't it interesting my dear friends that this bone this bone ha huh, is absolutely fine yesterday night and i was sleeping and next day when i get up oh my god there is intense pain in my knee joint isn't it so interesting there was no history there was no history of any injury there was no history of any blow there was no history of any sprain the twist in my joint but still today morning i get to know that my left knee joint is paining why why and the answer is let us try to find out these answers huh? 
let us try to find out the emotional factors which hurt the body if emotional conflicts which hurt the body emotional hurts emotional wounds humiliation insults how do we take it and which part of the body expresses the symptom this is very interesting why only left knee joint why not this right knee joint why is my left knee my enemy and hence I, my body selected my left knee joint no or is my right right knee joint more favorite favorite of mine and hence my body prevented my right knee joint it's not like that body selects the part my dear friends my body or anybody's body selects the part and causes pain now let us understand na, how does it select the parts before we proceed ahead let us understand what is this pain in the joints pain in the joints means this joint is painful what, what is this pain let us understand first what is pain pain means strong dislike he is a big pain in my ears man. means what i don't like him yeah. he is a bloody lousy flavor i once see him he's my headache yeah. he's a big pain in my ears if you have a phrase you know so this is what is pain pain is strong dislike irritating angry averse to or hurt or wounded yeah, he said like I just can't tell him here. It hurt me here. It hurt here. When my best friend says this, it hurts here. And had it been some other or of stranger, man, I would not care, man. I would not care. But my best friend, yeah, he said this to me. It hurts. Body starts giving this small, small pains in the body. And which part of the body we will see later on because it is a very interesting journey. Alright. So, see, because I am looking at a watch because <laughs> this is only for 35 to 40 minutes and I have to cover each and everything. So, isn't it so interesting my dear friends? Uh, so, there are some people said, no, no, it's because of overweight. But I have seen so many overweight people. But they don't feel suffer from any pain in the knee joint. 95 cases, but she's, I would... Uh, dance choreographer has seen he's around 135 kilos of weight but he's dancing like Govinda. so fluent he's dancing there is no pain in his knee joint how why is it not interesting you have to be that innovative let us try to find out retrospect everything is given in the books the only thing is we have to research there are two types of pain one is acute pain one is chronic pain the journey, the pathway and the impulses carrying from the acute pain is different. And the pathway and the impulses carrying from the chronic pain is different. Chronic is from directly brain and spinal and all over the body. Acute direct spinal. How is it so beautifully arranged? I'll let you know later on. Just I'll be completing each and every part of the joints. Isn't it interesting? So this is pain. Pain is dislike. Pain is funny. So yeah, how could I did such, how could I commit it such a wrong, big mistake? I just can't take it here. Started painting. Don't punish yourself any time in your life. You are human beings. You are there to do mistakes. Don't do. Don't have this uh, self contempt, self reproach. Don't do that. You land into painful diseases. Don't do that. It's okay. Sometimes I'm missing some words right now. I will just forgive myself. It's okay, yeah. we are human beings. We have a right to do mistakes. We have a right to commit mistakes. It's okay. This should be the attitude. Okay? And this is where the human beings fall sick. Where the animal's chances of getting sick is very less. Because whatever they are, it's what it, I did, it's okay. And they just go on, they move on. Human beings just broods into one condition that is that painful situation got it so the next slide please yes see i will be covering this neck the knee joints 
the spinal spine, lumbar spine, cervical spine. All right. Before I go ahead, I would like to tell what is stiffness. Stiffness in joints. Oh, I'm not able to move. What is this stiffness all about? I'm not able to move. Means. Isn't it interesting? My knee joints are stiff. I cannot bend. I cannot just, I have to just, oh, it's so stiff. How? Without any injury, how? Yes, without injury, with injury, it, is, it can be stiff, no doubt. But without injury is very interesting. This is where homeopathy works the best. And how? What is the stiffness? Stiffness is not easy motion not easy movement of the joints and uh, that means it just become so hard means the external factor has hold the joint and this now this joint this joint is been you know hold by this external factors and now this joint is not movable easily that means someone is restricting him so when there is stiffness there must be a history wherein the person or the patient suffering from stiffness of joints is the thing that he is not able to move freely in life. He has been, you know, restricted in every possible way. He is not allowed to go. He is not allowed to do. He is not allowed to have his own decisions. That is restriction. And when it just imbibes in your subconscious, he, he feels or he she, she feels she or I don't have anything to do in my life here. Sure. Then what happens? One of the joints get stiff. See how emotional levels, you know, injure the physical level of the body. These emotional, small, small emotional hurts carry these signals, these symptoms to the respected joint now i will tell you what is the meaning of this respected joint means what this the there is a always a reference to the context the emotion is one of the reference and the context is to that part of the body okay so this is how we understand the language of man we have to this is how we understand the man in the disease we have to understand, animals have said, said so beautiful, na? we have to understand the man in the disease. Now what is this man all about? This man is full of will, understanding and emotions. And when everything is in harmony, he doesn't land into disease. And when this is all in disharmony, then the man lands into disease. Alright? So let us try to find out what are those diseases all about. First, neck. What is this neck? The slide is this neck. Okay. What is this neck all about? Neck means what? Neck stands for self-esteem. You hold your head high because of your neck. When you feel proud, when you win some, uh, you know, when you achieve something, what is it? So this neck indicates honor, this neck indicates self-esteem, this neck indicates, you know, that I am someone, I have a position in my life. This neck indicates, there are so many aspects of neck and hence neck pain is more common when, when your pride is injured, when your honor is injured, when your, you know, honor is hurt. When your position, when you lose your position, you, when you are insulted, what do you do? I could recollect my school days. I used to bend down like this. So, bending down is a physiological process. So, what does this bending down means? Bending down means yielding in front of someone. It's okay, you can yield down. Okay, sorry. Say sorry and move ahead. When you don't say sorry or when you bend down out of your will, not wholeheartedly, 
हाँ ओके चल ठीक है सॉरी हाँ चल सॉरी बट इफ यू आर नॉट सेइंग सॉरी फ्रॉम योर हार्ट हाँ चल ठीक है सॉरी स्टार्ट पेनिंग इट्स सो ब्यूटीफुली अरेंज्ड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज़ अनएक्सप्लोर्ड आई हैव टेकन सम पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम दिस द बुक हील योर लाइफ फ्रॉम दिस By, written by Louis Hay, it's amazing book. You can refer this book for any problem. She has made a tabular column, neck pain, this, joint pain, this, and some of my. I have added some more ideas. What I have seen in my clinical practices. That's all. So this is now. So neck. If you are not able to bend down, what happens? Cervical straightening of the spine. stiffness because my mind is so rigid in spite of the fact that i know i am no somewhere wrong i will not say sorry hmm hmm rigid hmm so if you are rigid in thoughts leave it just leave it if you are that stubborn it won't help my dear friends it won't help it's okay acha is it like this okay let us try these things okay see silica is so obstinate vyavaru brick arguing not arguing in spite of keeping firm conviction means ha okay okay but he will see to it that he will follow his own rules my life my rules okay so these are some, some understandings of this name Isn't it's very interesting. So let us. Uh, I'll just brief a case because, of course, this is a topic of homeopathy. So homeopathy, of course, is very important, and how we have to apply homeopathy is very important. I'll just brief a case within one minute, one or two minutes. I'll enact the cha the man the twenty three year old man person was sitting like this. Uh, doctor, I am suffering from this cervical. Pain since three or four months and it's terribly paining, and I have taken all possible treatments. No pain pill is helping me out of it. It's just give me a temporary for uh, better or a temporary pain relief, but it is not going permanently. It is paining a lot. Please, doctor, can you help me out? So I, he was so sweet in his talks. I told him, what is the thing which is worrying you the most right now? So he said nothing. Yeah, what is that painful situation which is hurting you? There, which is hurting you right now? It is a very beautiful question. He said, uh, actually, uh, my father is very dominating. He is not allowing me to do anything what I want. He is uh, see this. My neck is so stiff, doctor. Not allowing me to do what I want. Stiffness. That is it. This is so stiff. I don't. And actually, he uh, just insults me. Now and then, every now and then, whatever it, it's re, it really hurts, doctor. I don't like my father abusing me, using bad words. I don't like. Then I ask him, then why did you give it back? He said, no, no, it's not like I don't give, I cannot give it back. But actually, he's my father, doctor. I I cannot you no know, give it back with my father. I cannot fight with my father. It's not right, na. No? So, but what happens is now this emotions I just keep it with me, and then when I go in my room, I feel yar yar. What is this? Yar? Everything is just suppressed within. This is stuffy sagria. Stuffy sagria is very egoistic, very dignified. You will feel the rubrics egotism, dignified, too. You will get stuffy sagria. elements from mortification elements from insults elements from anger suppressed but what is the part which is affecting the part affecting is his neck because he feel that at a 23 year old man boy i am a 23 year old boy and this man is insulting me now i am his son yeah i am not a servant he is treating me like a servant this indignation Position, honor, everything is crushed, crushed and spondylitis. Ah, oh, got it. 
when I gave him a dose of stephysanthia, what happened was this pay, this man started arguing with the father. So, father, please don't use this bad word. I don't like bad words. See how homeopathy works. The negative energy which was suppressing his emotions, it was going inside, used to hurt the cervical spine off and on. Now what happened? This negative energy is being went out. He is bringing that negative out. He is bringing his anger out. He is bringing his emotions out. Previously it was suppressed. Suppressed. Cervical spine. Ah! Now it is taking out. The negative energy, the negative feelings are coming out. So, eventually, day by day, the more he is putting. This is the cause of the medicine. More sensitive to moral impressions. He is my father. I cannot you know, fight with him. But when I gave him those, the morbidity was lost. Because at an age of 23, no adult can, act, of course, hear those abusive language of his father. He actually healthy. He should tell, na, Baba, please don't give this, use this language. At least you should have said so. Na? He couldn't say so. But after medicines, he started saying so. This is how homeopathy works. This is how homeopathy works. The negative energy is converted into the positive vibes. And this positive vibes rearrange the body. And we feel better. See the way it acts so beautifully. Sorry. Next, next. Uh, so how you, I hope you got the, what, what is this neck all about? Hmm? Rigidity. Okay. Now we'll come to the best and my most favorite back no, no, sorry yeah sorry sorry it's shoulder what is shoulder yes what is this shoulder all about this is also very interesting see shoulder when you carry small bags you carry it with your hands but when you carry loads heavy heavy weights where do you Put those heavy weights, we carry the heavy weights on our shoulder. That means the shoulder joint has the most powerful uh, weight bearing capacity. The, the shoulder joint has the most powerful weight bearing capacity. That, what does this shoulder mean? This shoulder means responsibility. What does this shoulder mean? This shoulder is responsibility. And what is it? Now I will just talk something because I won't take every uh, joint so in, in much in detail but so just shoulder joint I just tried. Frozen shoulder. Uh, 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 restricted. Frozen. Why? There must be something which is not Getting that free movement to do whatever he wants first. Free movement to do whatever he wants is the responsible things. Because it is on the shoulder. Shoulder carries responsibility. So, I am not able to carry my responsibility. Or I may not be able to carry my responsibility. Or I am fed up of carrying these responsibilities. I am now disliking this. That every time now you are grown up. Now this my son is 27 year old. Are he is now a burden to me. Burden to me. But still I don't have any other choice. I am helpless. I have to carry. Oh, I wanted to give up my responsibility. Still shoulder. Doctor, my, I have showed a case. I won't tell you the name of the remedy. But I showed this name, a case in so many of the seminars. Of the natural carb case. So I won't tell the whole case. But I will tell you. She was suffering from left sided. Uh, are, this is uh, actually this is left for me uh, in, on this shoulder, uh, left ear. This left sided responsibility, uh, frozen shoulder. She said, Doctor, actually, my mother is suffering from cancer, and my husband is not allowing me to take that responsibility of my mother. I asked my father, uh, husband, Can I bring my mother home? So that I would take that due care, I'll do that nursing, everything I will do. I she's my mother. I wanted to do something for my mom. But my husband says it's not a civil hospital. This is not a government hospital. 
If you want to take care of or you want to nurse your mom, go to your brother's place and do whatever you want. This is not done. I want to do the carry that responsibility, but I'm not able to carry. Ah. Getting my point. See how beautifully the body language, the emotional quotient, and the axis of physical and the mental levels, they coincide with each other. I told you know, the unknown etiology. This is what we are talking about this unknown etiology. Why am I unknown? Because this is what you call as dynamics. The spiritual dynamic force of the white is called vital force. You cannot see. You cannot see the soul. Are Abhigaya, where is the soul? You can, can you catch the soul? But there is a soul, isn't it? Similarly, this what am I talking about? Is 100% a truth. But exactly, I cannot show you. Are this cell is going towards the neck. Now there is a new method. Asher told me that day, ki there is a new method uh, like wherein you find out the scans and you have to just find out the scan and they tell you which part of the body is affecting see how beautiful it works and it is really going on well okay so this is how we understand shoulders okay now this back back is very very uh, interesting i i love see i see what is this back back now oh, i mm -hmm. Sitting, right? This is, I'm sitting erect because of my back. I'm balanced because of my back. I can give support to my body because of my back. I stand on myself because of my back with courage. Mm. Old people, bend down. Bend down. So I'll tell you how this back affects. This back indicates support, emotional support or financial support. This financial support, are bryonias, are you, are, what, you, are born, you are born with a golden spoon man, I had to do everything on my own. Nobody help me, ready to help me out. What if I don't uh, uh, go to work tomorrow, who will feed me? Who will feed me the family? Are you, you are lucky man, I am like this. Hey, Bryony always. In, in, in spite of the fact that he has crores of rupees, he always feels himself poor. Always feels that there is nobody, nothing. No, my bank account is empty. Nobody is there to help me out. Nobody is um, for, to support me. There are so many people in life who feel supportless, who feel helpless, who feel forsaken, who feels lonely, who feels alone. Nobody is there to share my problem. I don't have anyone to share my problems. Insecurity mental, insecurity emotionally. No friends, nobody is with me here. I'm alone. I don't have any support. Mac car, most Mac car, best remedy for you know, back aches. Calcarea fluor, best remedy for glad by why? Because it feels that then I'm in a position that I have to feed my family and I don't have enough resources. My bank balance is so low, delusion, poor things is. What if I don't uh, go to job tomorrow? Who will feed my family? Who will go to my family? Fear of poverty. And a delusion, he will come to a want. Kalkira flu. Backache. Oh my God. If I don't work today, what will happen tomorrow? Kalkira. Uh, see how physical symptoms and mental symptoms correlate with each other. If you see Kalkira flu, it's the best remedy, one of the best remedy for backaches, Brian, best remedy, because they feel there is no one to support from behind. I'll share your beautiful case. Okay. See, the cases are like uh, my, see, uh, it was a case like a patient came in front of me and said, this. it was an agonizing pain she was carrying, this back, okay, lower back as well as the, uh, the whole back was paining the pain was radiating down here oh my god i just can't take this pain i just you know i, I, I just ask her what is the thing which is hurting you because without any emotional hurt there won't be any physical pain my dear friends okay 
So I asked her, what is this uh, pain all about? So she said, Doctor, actually I wanted to tell you one thing. I lost my mother-in-law four months back. And I tell you, Doctor, I was, I was devastated with this incident. She was like a mother to you, right? This was the question I asked the patient. But the patient said, no, 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 she was not my mother. I am a mother. She loves me a lot. And then, she was everything to me. She was my guide. She was my friend. She was my philosopher. Whatever I want is in my mind. I used to you know, just drain out with her. She was so faithful. She hadn't explain, expressed my uh, secrets to my husband even. She was so faithful. You, it's so difficult to find such a faithful person in your life, doctor. And he's, and she was like a torch in my life. She was so beautiful, she said. She was like a torch in my life, doctor. And I tell you, she was like, she collapsed. She started weeping now. She was the ray of light to me, doctor. She was, even if I had a, a quarrel, a bad quarrel with my husband, she used to guide me. I'll take care. I'll, you do one thing, you say this to him, everything will be fine. And it worked like, you know, I had to share so many things. I, I could share everything with my mother-in-law. There are so many things that I haven't shared to any, to my mother as well as my husband. But I could have shared with, but I had shared with my, started weeping. I'm missing her too much, doctor. I'm missing her too much. So simple and a beautiful remedy. I'll tell you the remedy. This remedy is strontium car. Strontium car. This is strontium car. How? I'll tell you. See the rubric, sir. Because why I'm showing you this, and I'm really thankful and gratitude to uh, Sankaran, sir. He, I think he has proved there is a remedy and he has done an amazing job in this remedy. See the rubric is so beautiful. Elements from mental shock, death of an in-laws. Company desire for a friend. So beautiful rubric. Company desire for a friend. Faithful. Strong Shankar. Confidence, want of self-confidence. Desires support. Strong Shankar. Diligent. Hand is behind him. What is a hand? Hand is the one who helps. Hand indicates help. Hand indicates work. Hand indicates presentation. Delusion. We have a rubric. Faith. Need to maintain faith. Desires for light. Now she is in dark and she wants that ray of hope. And there is one beautiful rubric. Guidance need for. What is that? Guidance need for guidance. She was my guide, friend and philosopher. Now she is lonely. Now she is alone. No support from behind. Back in school. Ah! One dose of strong shape cup 200. What was what was the first reaction? She said, now I feel I can take my own decisions. I feel I don't need support of anyone. Now I feel I can do everything on my own. See the beauty of homeopathy. How does this mean? Four pills work like a magic. The lady who used to have this intense pain now she walks fluently. This is not important. That we can give with painkillers also. We, this, I, I can make a, a woman stand. But what about her stand in her decisions? What about her stand in her own ideas? What about her innovative ideas? What about her change in life? This is homeopathy. This is how homeopathy works. This negative energy was converted into positive energy. That lack of support was fulfilled by this homeopathic medicine, Stronchenka. The lack of guidance, the lack of friendship, the lack of faith, the lack of helplessness was all provided with this energy of Stronchenka, which in return managed the whole body. And now she is beautifully walking, easily bending even. Getting my point. See, spineless, we are rubric spineless, silly shy. 
always want to carry his mother along with during the clinic. You will not find Silisha coming to the clinic alone. Never ever. Someone, most of the time mother. Even I had a patient who was married having two sons, still coming with his mother. Mama, you tell. Eh? Effeminate. Hey, na? You tell, you tell. Are, what you tell? You are a grown up, you are a father of two kids now. You tell. No, you tell, you tell right. Are, what? You know, held being amelorates, held desire to be held, spineless, overprotected. So this is how we understand the remedy. This is how Kalkira Karma, Bharata Karma. Always, you also come with me. Confidence, want of self-confidence. So this is how we understand. Homeopathy. Isn't it so interesting? Yeah. Yeah. So this is how we understand back financial support. In so many Hindi films you have seen, you know, or any any scene, even any scene you see, the child, the elder brother, you know, has to you know just so many ambitions. He wanted to do chartered accountant. See, and or whatever, an artist or a doctor or whatever. And his father is a drunkard and he's not married in the home. He's just boozing and just doing what not in his home. And this elder brother, he has to take the responsibility, quitting all his ambitions, quitting all his. Then he says, Na, ki, if I told, I would have got the support of my father, I would have been so and so. If I would have got the support of my father, if he would have given me some money, I would have definitely become a doctor or an engineer. But because of this, I have quit my ambitions, quit my this, quit my that. Just for the sake of to run the family, I had to do that. Calcarea silicata. Responsibility taking too seriously and ambition loss of. It is what does this ambition loss of means? He has this ambition, but short. Because he has to manage the home. So, doing the job of a clerk and managing everything. Why? Because there was no support from his family. Otherwise, I would have become a chattel of it. Now, what am I doing? I am a clerk. Oh, back is paining. Why? No support. Financial. The lower back is gone. Oh. See, how beautifully it works. The exact, the my uh, point of view or the my, the lecture, what I have been, you know, appointed for is this mental makeup homeopathic medicines and arthritis yes the knee joint this knee what is this knee joint all about knee joint means what is this knee joint all about this knee joint indicates Moving from one place to another smoothly. Wanted to go from one place to another, it is the job of your knee joint. Standing on your own, no doubt, spine gives you balance. But it is because of the knee joint we stand on our own. That is what it's called as independency. When I am standing on my own, is independency. Isn't it so? What is this knee joint? Movement, freedom, independence and self-importance. So the knee joint, Dr. Krishna Kumar Dinde will be taking in detail two cases of knee joints or osteoarthritis. He will tell you the psychodynamics also, but I like to add something. See, what does this knee, knee is kneel, kneel down, kneel down. When do you kneel down? Knee, you kneel down in front of the enemy, surrender, I kneel down, I drop my guns, you don't only drop your guns, but at the same time, you bend down on your knees, so this bending down, I again tell you, just in, during cervical spine, I told you that this bending down, this cervical spondylosis, if you bend down wholeheartedly, if you say sorry wholeheartedly, this won't ache, but if you say sorry, I like this, ah, sir, thank you, ah, sir, sorry, this will start paining. 
बिकॉज यू आर नॉट विलिंग ना टू बेंड डाउन एंड स्टिल यू आर विलिंग विलिंग स्टिल यू आर बेंडिंग यू आर नॉट विलिंग टू बेंड डाउन बट स्टिल यू आर बेंडिंग दैट इंडिकेट्स द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वेर इन देर इज पेन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बेंड डाउन बट स्टिल झक मार के आई हैव टू जस्ट बेंड डाउन ओके सॉरी पेन सिमिलरली देर आर सम सिचुएशन इन योर लाइफ माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेन यू गॉट टू बेंड डाउन यू गॉट टू सरेंडर you got to just listen to others in front of the situation you have to yield you have to submit yourself but when the person don't yield no no i am not old i am still young are 65 years old man you are talking that you are not young i will go uh, i'll climb the mountain are my dear friend your knee will get hurt no no i i'll do i ask your thanks this is one of the reason i'm talking about second is free movement actually i wanted to go to some holy places but my husband is not interested in any holy places he since last 3 years doctor we have been gone anywhere in my just we are here like a i'm just bored for last 3 years we are here i wanted to go out but i'm not getting to get out of the home knee joint paining oh my god that freedom i am not getting bella dona wala say re yaar i wanted to go out enjoy life but i am not my husband is a very bored category is not letting me to go out he is not getting out and not letting letting me to go out ah uh, start this pain will start where the patient wants to get out free movement freedom hai na and i am not able to or bending down or not that getting that due importance not that due respect and see the see the beauty see the beauty most of the men suffer from osteoarthritis most of the men talk not everyone i'm talking about mostly when they retire now their salary is stopped now they have to manage from this quota now they have to as some money for for from his son or his daughter bending down i am i was an independent man till i was working now when i am retired i am sitting at home i had to as money for from my son this is not allowing him to bend on his knees but he has to the best thing is what theek hai na till then i till now i have you know done everything for my son and my daughters now my son and daughters will do everything for me this should be the ideal understanding maybe it may be difficult it may be difficult because but this won't lead into arthritis or pain in the knees it's okay i'm 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 asking money from my son i'm not asking money from anyone else this is bending isn't it so so this is bend oh ah. this flexibility is lost this stiffness not able to get out i'm not able to do what i want wanted to do no free movement not surrendering i share you a small case anacardium see you cannot understand the whole i'll just because dr krishna kaur dinde will be definitely uh, letting you the exact whole posology how to understand uh, osteoarthritis how to understand remedy how to prescribe homeopathic remedy with emotional levels with applied mind system everything i just i wanted to give you this small small you know, ideas an anacardium woman everybody know who uh, how's an a very dictatorial person in the home outside she mm, mm, mm. but at home uh, i want this to be done all right yes you have to do this means you have to do this so when anakati is young the anakati mom i'm talking about is young she says yeah, you have to do this the child the poor child follows everything because this anakati mom dominates the child as as the child grows up now he has achieved something in his life now he is earning very uh, have a handsome salary and he is doing everything on his own everything is fine now he is married now this grown up child is not listening to this mom but this mom wants to just dominate the home still 
The child is not listening to him. This mother becomes helpless. She resigns, but not wholeheartedly. She bends. Now she has to bend in front of the child. She was thinking that he used to dance at my tunes. Now I had to dance at his tunes. This helplessness, this surrendering, this submitting in front of the situation. Anacardium cannot bear, anger from contradiction, egotism, dogmatic, dictatorial. And this was her first feeling. Now, helplessness feeling. Resignation. Got it? This is anacardium. Anger from contradiction and contradiction. Intolerant dog. Very, her hard hearted, abusive, very bad, used to use, use very bad language, used to hit very hard. And now, she is like, and she is. This is anacardium. Because she has to bend in front of the situation. Ah, and this bending, this pain is intensely high. See, the change in that, see the change in the scenario. I was the one who was dictating. Mm? And now, I have to bend. Now the daughter-in-law is ruling and I have to bend. Helplessly. This is anacardium. Okay. So, just I am giving some tips or some just, just some glimpses of some remedy. So you will get a fair idea about what is what am I talking all about. This is knee joint, bending, surrendering, submitting, not wholeheartedly, but you know with a conflict, strong conflict or movement or free movement. There are so many rubrics. We have rubric fear of being arrested, division trapped is domination ailment from long period ailment from abused in marriage See, so beautifully it is means what is this marriage all about marriage is commitment once i am committed i cannot go ahead yeah i am in marriage now i just have to bear this see beautiful how beautiful it is I'm given now my last topic i suppose it's my last topic and fingers and huh, yes this is very important fingers rheumatoid arthritis with affection of the thumb the actually this was the, uh, I wanted to focus on this index finger and the little finger but it is a slight change in this picture okay the person suffering uh, a woman suffering from this rheumatoid arthritis right hand sided thumb this little finger and the index finger these three joints were so stiff and painful and she was suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Now let us understand first of all what is rheumatoid arthritis. What is rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. What is this autoimmune disease all about? The immune system which is supposed to fight against the disease fights with our own self. Now this is very interesting again. Isn't it? How? How? Again an unknown etiology my dear friends. But let us try to resolve this. Let us try to research this. I told you, pain is uh, pain is always punishment. Pain is strong dislike. Pain is irritating. Pain is strong anger with someone. Strong anger with something. Punishment. It is hurt. It is wound. Anna? It is, can't take this. This is not good. Oh my God. This all is all about pain. Isn't it? And this pain is on the right hand. Right hand I already told you. Achha. Right hand is pain in the hand which I was doing work is my right hand and what are the fingers these are the fingers this one this index and the, so the small joints are affected why the small joints means my creativity my fineness my class my art my lucrative work my fruitful work because with this you do all fruitful fruitful things you cannot do fruitful things with your legs no Whatever you are doing very fine, artistic, clear, crystal, perfect is with your fingers. 
साइन इन एन ऑथोरिटी है ना सो दीज आर स्मॉल फिंगर्स क्रिएटिविटी वी क्रिएट लव वर्ल्ड विद दिस फिंगर्स we create statues we create everything with these fingers and these joints are paining and it is an autoimmune that means i am blaming myself in autoimmune diseases sha had it been i had done this or it would have been another way around but now i have just done such a big mistake in my life and now i am suffering here sha this is not done self contempt self punishment self criticism don't do that don't criticize yourself i told you you are human you have all rights to commit mistakes i know how many times i have committed mistake in this speech i know that but still it's okay i am a human i am not a god or an angel yeah i'm like this so what this is what i am be happy with what you are guys and this lady was continuously reproaching herself punishing herself criticizing her what are you doing so i'll tell you this case within 5 minutes and the whole wind up i went wind up the whole webinar so it was a case of a 34 year or 35 year old chartered accountant patient woman I told you, chatted about it before because it's really very interesting. And she said that I'm suffering from this. First of all, when I see that right hand joints, small joints are being, I directly ask one question: Are you not happy with your job? What you are doing? Because I knew that he was she was a chartered. She said, No, I'm not doing any job. You know, being a chartered accountant, you're not doing any job. It's really surprising for me. She said, Doctor, actually, see. I was a gold medalist in chartered accountant seminar. What? Just said this case I have shown in a national seminar. Uh, so you know what? Well, yes, actually I, uh, you know, I was a gold medalist and uh, I, uh, my husband we had a love marriage and we are working in the same uh, company and it was a big huge company and. Uh, within 3 months of our uh, marriage i got pregnant so till 7th month i was working in this company and then i just took this uh, delivery holiday uh, what cab it was called uh, i just take took a leave for for my delivery and uh, i delivered a healthy child but then my mother in law said no no now you are a, Uh, responsible mother you shouldn't leave your child three months child here and go to the office you have to stay home so i thought ki yaar theek hai chal i'll stay home like a, a gold medalist chartered accountant staying at home is a something which is surprising so she said yeah, for my kid also i thought it was a right decision so i thought of being at home so i took i was like a uh, housewife for 7 uh, to 8 years doctor do you uh, believe it can you believe this no kya baat hai mino is it 9 years of gold medalist le who can secure job in any given corporate office but she was not allowed stiffness and she agreed who will can nakshumika agree with this Naksunika will go to hell. I want divorce. I'll go to hell. Naksunika is in defiant. She'll fight with the husband because I've take, taken so much of pains for this child and accountant, and I'll not sit at home. Go to hell. This girl just yielded for the child and her husband. The husband was going out, coming back at nine o'clock. Now. she was not getting that due attention from the husband also she was totally dominated this highly educated chartered accountant woman was dominated by a mother in law and she was following her every, every advice every terms if she was just under her like this what 
still she was okay happy with everything because she was managing but she was okay what happened is after four after eight nine years she got bugged up with her housewife job so and the child was also forced in four stand so she started thinking of taking tuitions now imagine a chartered accountant taking classes maths classes that two did fourth and fifth standard what thought process she must be carrying can you imagine but still she was okay with it but when she started teaching her child the child said please mom don't teach maths to me you don't know anything about maths but that was something which hurt her tremendously she said i quit my job because of you i that i had done everything for my family i was dominated i could have fight actually my dreams were to fly high in the sky i have that ability i had that efficacy to fly above the mountains this was my understanding she said i could have done anything in my life doctor but just i i was dominated and just i sat home but when he uttered this that you couldn't teach maths doctor maths is my life and he he still in that i can't teach maths i was so i just can't tell you i just i was falling in front of my own eyes what what am i doing what the hell are you doing i was continuously talking with myself she you are a shame on me shame on me what am i doing a chatter dog content what are you doing housewife teaching mathematics she element from mortification and what is the efficacy what is the power and what is the ability of this person a gold medalist in chartered accountants and what is she doing tuition teaching teaching maths fifth standard maths this is very bad but when the child her own child said it was like a nail in the coffin and she couldn't take that insult that humiliation she said i don't have any respect on for me Ma, i don't know what others are thinking about me but now i feel ashamed of myself who am i bloody i don't have any respect i don't have any dignity i don't have anything in my life why because my job my thumb my index finger and my little finger which when i could help help the pain i am not able to help this pain and i am helpless painful criticizing me autoimmune disease and analysis and evaluation of this remedy was she had the wings with equivalent to the wings of an eagle who can fly above the sky isn't it so above the no, so above the sky is impossible above the mountains i am talking it's see crows and sparrows cannot fly above the mountains it is only the eagles who can fly above the mountains because they have a capacity to fly in a very high in a very, very fastest bird when millions of kilometers she can travel so much efficient are the efficient are the wings she is a gold medalist a topper in chartered accountancy you know there is a there is a way when there is a chartered accountancy result is around 2 to 3% out of 100 only two pass or three people so if out of 15000 people are appearing for ca only 150 pa, uh, just get that uh, passing marks and she, out of 150 she was the one who topped she was the gold medalist and what is she doing housework a caged eagle falco p a caged eagle domination domination by the in laws very caring about her own kids anxiety about her children but when this children when this husband when she left everything for the family this fam the husband came back at night ignoring the wife the mother in law dominating and this kid is asking miss telling the that you don't know how to teach mathematics that was the last sentence she couldn't just tolerate and she landed into pathology if she would have fought for herself she wouldn't have landed into this but what was the conflict between 
just forget it. I'll sit at home. I'll listen to my mother-in-law. I'll just get dominated for my kid, for my family. Again, I'm telling the, this woman wanted to fly high in the sky. She wanted to scale very high in all corporate offices, but she just sacrificed her ambitions. She, her wings were cut off by her own ambition, by her own understanding about the kids as well as the mother dominated and she was in a captivated area wherein she has to fly only about 10 to 15 feet high that is four standard mathematics what is her ability to fly above the mountains gold medalist in chartered accountants flying above the mountains what is she doing taking tuition in mathematics 10 to 15 meters high height see i'm trying to correlate the emotional levels and the exact feeling in his life with the remedial understanding the wings the such powerful wings the falcon has to fly above the sky, uh, mountains that is her ability of in, her intelligence her brains her intelligence is so high and she is not allowed to fly high so she was in this captivity area so this is all how we understand falco p i'll just put out the, all this rubrics lastly about falco p so we'll get to know the understanding of this beautiful remedy actually I know I am out of time, but I couldn't help because this was the least I could talk about the psychodynamics aspect of joint pains and I have not taken each and every joint although, but still I have tried to cover up the entire important joints of our body and let the next video will be of Dr. Krishna Kumar Dinde who will be talking about knee joint osteoarthritis with posology with how we understand the remedy in its whole extent because I had this topic of understanding the with the mental levels how homeopathy works and how do, do we understand homeopathy under case taking he will tell you the remaining part that is the posology how we adapt with this remedy how the patient adapts with the remedy and that will be a real fun to all of you so thank you thank you once again for listening to this video and my PPTs.